Hey there, Smarties. Welcome to smart to go Training Podcast, where we take a deep dive into topics that make you smarter and richer. In previous episodes, we have been taking a deep dive into this topic of overages. Well, guess what? Today, we are going to be sharing what I think is going to be revolutionary in the space of overages. I'll give you a hint. It's AI inspired and it's making overages specialist more efficient and richer. This episode is diving into the exciting world of tax sale overages and uncovering one of its soon to be released best kept secrets. If you're ready to discover the secret weapon for collecting overages, hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Now let's be smart. Okay, so have you ever heard of like um, tax sales? Mm, yeah. Yeah, not exactly a conversation starter, right? Yeah. But this is where it gets interesting. We're diving into a little corner of that world today that's, well, surprisingly profitable, potentially. We're talking tax sale overages. Right. And there's this new app, Overages Overflow the App, it's called, and it claims it can help you, you know, unlock these like hidden pots of money basically. Yeah. So let's let's break this down a bit. Okay, sure. What exactly are we talking about when we say tax sale overages? I mean, it's sounds like some kind of accounting jargon. Well, you know, it sounds more complicated than it is. Basically, when someone doesn't pay their property taxes right, it, yeah, right. for, for a certain amount of time, the government can actually seize that property. Yeah. And then to recoup those, you know, those unpaid taxes, they'll sell it off. Okay. Often at these things called tax sales. Yeah, sales, right. Now, here's the thing, though. Yeah. Sometimes that property, it ends up selling for way more than what the owner actually owed in taxes. Yeah. Interesting. And that that difference that extra cash that is the overage okay so so that overage i mean who who gets that money right so in a perfect world that money it should go right back to the to the original owner of the property Makes sense yeah but here's here's where it gets uh, a little more complicated okay tracking down those owners it's not always that easy oh i bet sometimes they've moved they might not even know they're owed this money. Wow. And this is where entrepreneurs are starting to see an opportunity. Oh, okay. An opportunity to, you know, to help reunite people with with money that's rightfully theirs and maybe maybe make a little profit along the way. Okay, so that's where this overages overflow the app comes in, right? Exactly. They're claiming to make this whole process, the whole the finding, the claiming of these overages much much simpler. At least that's what their press release says. So we actually got our hands on that press release, and one of the things that really jumped out at me was this this skip tracing feature they're they're touting. So what what exactly is skip tracing in this context? Skip tracing is um, it's kind of like being a digital detective almost. Really? Yeah. So, you know, imagine someone who scours through all sorts of public records, property records, even social media sometimes, all to try to piece together where someone is now. Oh, like maybe maybe the owner moved without updating their tax records, changed their name. You know, life happens. Yeah. Yeah. The skip tracers job is to kind of like cut through that and find them. It sounds incredibly efficient. But I have to ask, like, doesn't that, you know, raise some privacy concerns? Oh, absolutely. That's that's the that's the real balancing act here. Right. You know, using this information responsibly. It seems like this app, from what I've seen, they've built in some like pretty strict safeguards. They make it very clear you can only use this information to reunite people with their unclaimed funds. Nothing else. Okay, that makes that makes sense. But even once you found the owner, isn't the the actual process of claiming the overage like a whole other challenge? Oh yeah. Like a legal a legal nightmare. It, it definitely can be. Different states, different counties, they all have their own, you know, set of rules. Right. And deadlines. Yeah. Which by the way, if you miss them, you can, you know, you can kiss that overage goodbye. <laughs> and it sounds like the app developers, you know, they, they thought about this too because they're they're also offering these state specific legal guides. Right. Because imagine like you find an overage, right? But it's on a property in a state you've never even been to. Yeah. These guides are supposed to lay everything out, the paperwork you need, who to contact, all of that. Like having a roadmap basically. Right. That is that is huge. Especially those deadline alerts. Yeah. It's gotta be that's gotta be a lifesaver. Exactly. It's it's like having a like a personal assistant keeping track of everything, you know, so you don't accidentally uh, miss out on a on a potential windfall. And, you know, what I think is really interesting about this 
it's not just about helping people avoid mistakes. Right. I think it's about, you know, making this whole world of tax sale overages, which has always been kind of this, you know, insider thing, and making it accessible to anyone. Yeah. It's like it's like they're leveling the playing field a little bit. Exactly. You don't need to be a lawyer, you know, or some kind of a, a property expert. Right. Anyone can do this potentially. Exactly. With the right tools and information. So it sounds like this this whole thing with overage is overflow. It's it's actually part of a of a much bigger trend we're seeing. Oh yeah, absolutely. Technology is really changing the game when it comes to to things like finance and investing. Right, and this app is a perfect example of that. Opportunities that that might have been very exclusive before, only open to a certain few, mm. they're becoming available to everyone. And that's that's really exciting, you know. Yeah, it is. It really is. But and I, and I think this is important to keep in mind with all this new access. We have to we have to approach these opportunities responsibly, ethically. One hundred percent. Just because something's you know potentially profitable doesn't mean we throw caution to the wind, right? Right, right. We have to remember that. I mean, yeah. at the end of the day, it's still people's money, people's lives mm. that we're talking about. It's not just some some abstract you know financial game. A- so yeah. So this whole this whole deep dive into into overages overflow. And by the way, what a name, right? It's really opened my eyes to to this whole this whole world that I, I honestly had no idea existed, but it exists and it's yeah. out there. And who knows, you know, maybe maybe there's an opportunity there for you. If you want to learn more about Overages Overflow, maybe maybe do a little digging of your own. You can find their app at Repeat's web address from the source material. Mm. Yeah, check it out. And hey, if you happen <laughs> to find a hidden fortune, um, don't forget about us. All right. Right. All right. Thanks for listening, everybody. Well, did you find this episode intriguing? We hope so. If you want to learn more about Overages Overflow the app and get on the wait list, just scan the code on your screen and get update and launch news. Be smart.